thing that have breath. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Come on, y'all. He's worthy. Come on, y'all. I said he is worthy. He's worthy. Come on, let's lift him up. Yeah. You're worthy, Lord Jesus. what makes us worthy, Lord. Oh, we bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Worshiper. I am. I'm a free worshiper. I am. I'm a free worshiper. Say, Lord, I. 
sing that with this. No sweeter name. No sweeter name.
Amen. Take it back old school. Amen. Oh, how we love Jesus. I uh, just come before you today with a couple of announcements from Exhale Youth Ministries. Amen. Good to be here. Uh, just thank God for uh, his presence. And um, I just think about how uh, all of us are here because somebody brought us here, you know, mothers and fathers. And um, we're just going to celebrate our uh, ancestors. Um, Exhale Youth Ministries will be taking a trip to uh, the Civil Rights Museum in uh, Birmingham. And so we would like for you guys to sign up your children um, so that we can take that trip. I um, was just listening to uh, my deacon and sometimes my dad talking about working in the cotton fields and, um, you know, um, just having to drink out of separate water fountains just because of the color of your skin. And so we want to be sure that our children understand that um, they're not um, entitled to where they are. Somebody paid the price. Amen. And so um, we just want to make sure that our children understand that and that um, being in school systems today that are integrated was uh, fought for. And so Civil Rights Museum, February 8th is that date, not this Saturday, but the next Saturday. So please sign up in the foyer um, on, on the sheets uh, for the Civil Rights Museum and transportation will be provided. There is a minimal fee, but um, Excel is going to help out with the cost because I want everybody that can go to go. So um, just please sign up. Compassion, uh, we want to be sure that our children aren't just uh, coming to church on Sunday mornings, amen, or Wednesday nights. Uh, we want to be sure that uh, we go outside of the four walls and we're not just going to go um, to the community. We're going to go around the world. And so we're going to adopt two children two to four children, amen, and um, uh, either from Kenya uh, uh, in uh, Africa or in the Dominican Republic or both. And so um, $38 a month to help these children um, come out of poverty. The stories are amazing. And on the 24th of February, that's a Monday night, uh, we're going to uh, walk through um, the actual items and the actual uh, poverty um, that they um, kind of come from and so we want our children to really get that experience so that they will understand where their money is going and so that parents will understand where your money is going so um, we don't want just the adults of Excel to give the money to your children we want them to you know raise it and uh, we already have a young lady Miss Morgan this is her heart would you just wave your hand come on wave your hand high stand up for them yeah stand up this is her heart she, she just has such a passion uh, for children and her mom and so she's going to be speaking to our young people and just giving their experience about going to Haiti and um, you know one day you know we're just going to believe God to take us there as well. Also um, just sign up uh, for the database. We want to be sure that we're connecting with every young person who is in here. So if you have children six weeks to 18 years old please be sure to see us outside of these doors or when you go to pick up your children in the gym make sure that you sign in um, sign them in every Sunday and then fill out the database information just to make sure we have updated information so that when we do these things I won't have to come up here every Sunday man and then I can just text you or email you the information amen so God bless you and God keep you uh, we're going to now pray and get um, prepared for, for tithes and offerings so we just prepare for that um, still just worshiping God with what he's given us so grateful that God has given um, me everything that I have and I know that you are as well and so just just thinking about um, how he's giving you a job or maybe if you don't even have a job just how he's giving you life everything we have father it comes from you and so Jesus we don't want to take that for granted we don't want to take that we we you know have a right mind and uh, even bosses Lord we just thank you for them Lord, we thank you that um, everything belongs to you. We just give you back a little bit of what you've given to us. And my prayer is that we not despise you by giving you our leftovers, but that you are top-notch, top priority, and that um, you just get what you deserve, um, which is everything. But um, just help us to be mindful of what to give you today. In Jesus Christ's name, we bless you, we praise you, we thank you. Amen. Uh, now we'll be uh, blessed by our sanctuary choir.
give our music minister a hand in the Lord. Amen. Were you blessed by our music minister today? Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to try to sing because I tell you, thank you, Jesus. Oh, just tell, just say thank you, Jesus. Because we get to we get to 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 to, to sing to His glory. Uh, we get to bless Him with our voices. We get to open our mouths and and shout glory and hallelujah. Tell Him how good He is and tell Him how wonderful He is. That's what they were doing. They were bragging on a good God. They were testifying via song and the instrument, uh, instruments about the goodness and the glory of God. And what they were saying was there's nobody like him. There's nobody that compares to him. And what they were saying is it's really all about him and not about us. It's, it's always been about him. Always been about him. Uh, and so we're honored and we're blessed to be here. And I greet you in his name. That is the, the matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus, who is the Christ. And I thank God uh, for you in him. Amen. I thank God for you in him. We thank God for our first lady, Sister Candace uh, Cherry. Amen. And we certainly thank God for our fellowship of deacons, our ministers of the gospel. We thank God for the body of Hightown, the body of Christ here at Hightown. And let me tell you something. If there is anything, we're going to be talking about the heart and the mind and a whole bunch of other stuff in the Word today. Uh, but let me tell you something. When we allow our minds to be saturated uh, with, with praise and worship like we did this morning where we sing to the glory of God, you know, he does, he'll do something wonderful. He'll lift burdens. Amen. He, he lifts burdens our burdens and our cares and uh, those weight, weights that, that seem so heavy, we, we just see them diminished almost in the presence of God. And, and, and so I say free yourselves. That's what praise and worship is all about. It's, it's about us freeing ourselves of ourselves uh, so that we can bless the name of Jesus, so that we can bless the name of Jesus. I do want to recognize those of you who are visiting with us, maybe for the first time. If you're a first-time visitor to Hightown, would you kindly stand so that we may recognize you and honor you today? First-time visitors, praise God. Everybody's been here before. And for this, we're thankful. We're thankful. We're well, Hightown. We're happy to have you. Happy to see you in the house, Hightown. I want to make just a few announcements. This afternoon at 530, we will have our baptism and harvest service. If you are a candidate for baptism, uh, then we uh, need to see you at 515 so that you can meet with our uh, baptism committee just before the, the service starts. Uh, if you're here today and if you've accepted Jesus Christ and maybe you've never been baptized, uh, you can go in the water today. Somebody say today. We will baptize you today in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost uh, this day. Amen. Uh, so uh, 515 for candidates. We hope to see you then and then you'll go in the water. Uh, this afternoon at 5.30. I want to remind you that on next Sunday, we will have our annual Super Bowl fellowship where we're asking the members of this church and friends to come fellowship with us. Uh, we'll watch the game on the big screen over in the uh, Family Life Center. Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll watch the game and we'll play board games. And I, there'll be something for everybody. Uh, this is an awesome time for us to get to know each other, to fellowship amen with one another uh, and to laugh and to let our hair down and uh, and just have a good time in the Lord amen do ask that you bring something there's a sign up sheet on the uh, information table in the foyer and so uh, if 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 you're coming bring something amen maybe cups or napkins uh, whatever somebody else has not already signed up for amen and maybe you make a special dish that's not even on the list feel free to write that in let us know that you're bringing it uh, and we'll serve it up amen all right, everybody happy? February uh, 7th, uh, that is Friday, February 7th at 6.45 p.m. In the fellowship hall, we will have our couples fellowship. So if you are a married couple, uh, we will have our first meeting of the year, uh, 6.45 p.m. in the fellowship hall. Here at the church, there will be uh, child care will be provided and um, address is casual. Amen. Are you happy to be here? I know you have to. I'm going to ask that you stand at this time. And as always, we're going to fellowship. Uh, I'm going to sing a little bit while uh, you guys fellowship. All right? Uh, and then I'll come down there where y'all. But welcome somebody to the service. Now let us have a little talk. Let us tell them all about us. He will heal us. And 
I know he's gonna answer by Now when you feel a little prayer will be, And you know a little fire is through You will find a little talk with Jesus makes it right Now let us have a little talk Let us tell him all about it. He will hear our pain And I know he's forgetting things like your faith confession uh, and so we want to do our faith confession this morning we said that we would do it every Sunday morning and we want to do that because we believe that there's power in the Word of God and so uh, I'm going to ask that you stand and I know you just sat down but I know that you love me and you love the Lord and you understand that uh, pastor gets it wrong sometimes all right so before we do our faith confession for those of you who are uh, for those of you who are 60 and older 60 and older, I'm not going to call you up front, but if you're 60, uh, 60 and older, or if you're retired, we have a wonderful seniors ministry here at our church, all right? Uh, uh, they're called the Amazing Grays, uh, and they are awesome. And so if you would like to be a part of 
uh, our seniors ministry. Listen, if you're 60 or 61 or 62, nothing to be ashamed of. It's a blessing uh, to be that age, all right? So our seniors ministry, they meet every Tuesday, uh, 1030 a.m. Uh, here, uh, actually in, the, in one of the conference rooms back there, and they would just love to uh, have you. Uh, we do seniors meeting and then we come on into afternoon Bible study on Tuesdays at 1230. So some of you are shaking your heads. I know that you're not 60 or 62 or retire, but if you are, please consider becoming part of that ministry. Amen. Amen. It is what it is. Amen. 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 All right, let's, let's recite our faith confession together. God is blessing us and is causing us to succeed in our mission and purpose as a church. We have all of the people, resources, that we need to do his will. People are being healed, saved, and delivered from the power of sin every day. We are walking in the supernatural favor, blessing, health, and abundance of our God. There is nothing broken or lacking in our lives. Careers and businesses are blessed and protected by the presence of the Holy Spirit and the angelic host. Thank you, Jesus, for you have blessed us for your name's sake, for the glory of God, and because you love us. Give the Lord a praise and glory. Praise the Lord. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I thank God for you. Uh, this morning, we continue our, uh, our series that we started a few weeks ago, uh, Focus on the Word. Focus on the Word. Uh, not too long ago, I went over to the, uh, our church school, Hightown Academy, and um, I heard one of the teachers telling uh, her class to line up. That's what she said to me. She says, boys and girls, you need to go ahead and line up. Uh, it's time to go to gym. Now, our children in the academy, they love when it's gym time because what that means is they get to run around and they get to play and they get to explore that big old space over there. Uh, and so the teacher said, I, I need y'all to line up so that we can go to the gym. And, and uh, some of them lined up and some of them didn't. And so she said it again. She said, boys and girls, I need you to line up uh, so that we can go to the gym. She says, we're not going to move. We're not going anywhere until everybody is lined up. Uh, and so after a while, everybody lined up except this one little boy uh, who was just refused to line up. And he was just kind of doing his thing. And she says, boys and girls. And she didn't call the boys names, but she said, boys and girls, until everybody is lined up, we are not going to move and we're not going anywhere and about that time a little girl looked at the boy called his name and she said boy I'm not gonna call his name she said Would you get your old self in line so that we can go to the gym so that we can go play will you get yourself in line so that we you we can go play I have a question for you this morning could it be that one of the reasons we're not moving forward in life could it be because we're not lined up totally with the Word of God? Lined up with the Word of God. Uh, this morning as we continue to study from our series, Focus on the Word, um, uh, today we will come to realize that it is an absolute must that we line up certain areas of our lives with biblical truth. Not based on what's popular, not based on necessarily uh, what everybody else is doing or saying, but we must make sure that our lives are lined up, that is, that our lives are in alignment with the truth that comes from God's Word. If we expect to get heavenly results here on earth, we're going to have to line up. <laughs> if we expect to get heavenly, resu heavenly results... Here on earth, you and I, we're going to have to line up. If we expect to change negative situations and bad situations, we're going to have to line up. If we expect to excel and to accelerate and to experience success that God has promised us for every area of our lives, then we are going to have to line up. Here's the truth of the matter. There is no way around it. 
Do you hear me this morning? I, let's just be real. Cut to the chase. Somebody say, that for the believer, for those of us who trust Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we should understand that there is no way around it. If we're going to be blessed, if we're going to enjoy the fruits of Christ's labor on the cross, then we're going to have to line up. Amen. No loopholes. No cutting corners, no loopholes, no cutting corners, no real ducking and dodging, no excuses can be offered if we're going to enjoy God's best. Hear me today. We're going to have to line up. So how do we do it? How do we do it? How do we get in position to receive God's best? On last Sunday, we said, uh, listen, beyond the shadow of a doubt, that it is God's will. The God of heaven wants to give us his very best right here on earth. We said that last Sunday, didn't we? The God of heaven wants to bless the people of earth, and we are his people, and the church said amen. Do you feel like giving the Lord praise and glory? Amen. So how do we get in position? How do you and I, how do we get in position to receive God's best? How do we get in position to receive increase and favor from God? How do we get in position to receive prosperity and healing, victory? How do we get in position to go from uh, the ordinary to the extraordinary? How do we get in position to go from just the natural to the supernatural? Well, I am so glad that you asked me that question this morning because I think that I have the answers by the grace of God, and thank you, Jesus. Here's, here's what we do to get in position. First, we must line up our walk. All right? Children of God, people of God, we're all in this together. Amen. No need in looking to the left or to the right. No need in trying to line somebody else up. Just worry about yourself. Make sure that you're lined up yourself. Listen, if we're going to enjoy God's best,